So jumping right into it, today's video is going to be another foundation review. Well, I guess you wouldn't call it a review because this is kind of my first impressions. And if you haven't already guessed it from the title. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions and wear test on the Revlon Color Stay Long Wear Makeup. I mean, it says it's long wear, so it better wear long. Our expectations are high, okay? We don't have to lower our standards. This foundation has been out since probably the dawn of creation. Since before YouTube was YouTube? I mean, am I right? I remember this was everyone's love. This was their go-to. But unfortunately for me, I've never even tried this foundation out. So I figured that I would try it today. Lately, I've been seeing a few people post videos on this and I'm just a little confused. Like it's been around forever, but I think maybe they reformulated it. I mean, the package does look different from the original. They have changed the packaging before though. So that doesn't necessarily mean they reformulated it. I don't know. But either way, I knew that I never tried this foundation out. So I wanted to try it with you guys just to see what we're missing. And before we get into it, I would just like to let you guys know, I have have normal to slightly dry skin and also it's pretty acne prone, especially at the moment. If you haven't watched my previous videos, then you probably don't know, but now you know. <laughs> I've been struggling with my skin for months now. It is just breakout city. So I'm a little bit nervous to try out a new foundation today, but we're gonna do it anyway. I'm doing this for you guys. I'm doing this for my besties. This foundation actually comes in two different formulas. They have a normal to dry skin formula and they also have a combination to oily. Now, because I prefer matte finishes with foundation, I actually picked up the combination to oily because I have to assume if it's for a combination to oily skin, it's probably more on the matte side. But if you have extremely dry skin and you're not really fond of the matte finish, then at least you have the option to go for the normal to dry skin formula. So without further ado, let's try this foundation and see what it's all about. Now, I know that a lot of people might disagree on this and that's okay. It's okay to have disagreement, but hear me out. I've just never felt like this foundation has had a good color range. Like yes, they have quite a few colors, but the range of colors just isn't that good. I feel like it's always leaned more on the pinky kind of gray tint side. Like I just feel like they don't really have that many yellow tones or any at all. To be honest, I just had a lot of trouble finding my shade and I still don't even think I got the perfect shades here. So uh, take this video with a grain of salt when you're trying to color match yourself. I'm just notorious for not picking out my correct shade anyway. What's wrong with me? I actually picked up two shades because like I said, I struggled. I have the shades 330 Natural Tan and 320 True Beige. And I actually did swatch them earlier on my wrist for you guys because I wanted you to see how it kind of dries down. So right here we have True Beige and right here we have natural tan. So you can kind of see true beige is quite a bit darker than natural tan. So because I did that, I kind of already have an idea of what shade I'm gonna go with, and that is gonna be natural tan. But just to be 100% sure, we're also gonna swatch on our face just to see how the two colors look there. I'm gonna get real close for you guys. So first, here is natural tan. Do you guys see how kind of like gray pinky that is? I mean, that is just not my shade. I don't know what's going on. You're supposed to be color stay. You're called color stay. So stay with the colors, okay? I don't know. And then next to that, here is true beige. Maybe I should have swatched it a little bit higher so you guys can see better. I am just not a pro. Guys, don't expect me to be a pro because I'm not. Trust me, I'm not. So let's let that sit for a second so we can really compare colors. So looking at them up close, honestly, it kind of almost looks like either one would work now. I don't know, but I do still feel like the true beige one is a little bit too dark and just very pinky. Like, I really don't like the way it's showing up on my skin. Oh, and before I forget, I'm actually going to be priming one half of my face so that you guys can see how it does with a primer. I will be honest, I'm not an everyday primer gal, so I usually don't wear primer on a daily basis, but when I do, I love going in with the e.l.f. Power Grip, and I think I'm gonna prime this half of my face and leave this half blank. So, well, not blank, but you know what I mean. And just... And this formula gets very sticky, so it should do a good job at holding the makeup on my face. But let's find out. Let me also do myself a favor and clip my hair back so that it's not in our way when we're applying. Perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the foundation. Again, this is in the shade Natural Tan. I'm just gonna be pumping a little bit on the back of my hand. Ooh, actually a lot just came out of the jar. By the way, you get one full fluid ounce of foundation, so it is standard. And we're gonna go in with this dense brush from NYX. It has a 37 on it, so I guess it's number 37. We're just going to dip into the foundation, like so. Boop, boop, boop. And while we apply, I'm just gonna be reading you guys a few of the claims. 
Get better skin by the day. Revlon Color Stay Long Wear Makeup for combination slash oily skin with SPF 15 is a lightweight, oil-free foundation that offers 24-hour wear and helps improve your skin's appearance day after day. Skincare ingredients like antioxidant vitamin E help nourish and protect skin from pollutants, while earth source multi-mineral powders control oil breakthrough all day long. This breathable, buildable makeup formula resists heat, sweat, and humidity too. Comes in 43 shades. Coverage is buildable to full. I am using the combination to oily formula, but it also comes in normal to dry. It is lightweight, long-lasting, and wears up to 24 hours. The undertones they offer are cool, warm, and neutral. I picked mine up from Target and it retails for $11.49. Okay, so this is how the foundation is looking upon application. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit closer so you can see. So this is how it is looking on my skin. And honestly, it's reflecting a lot more light because I do have this light in front of me, this light on the side of me. So it's kind of bouncing off more light, but it's not super dewy. It's not a dewy finish by any means. I would say right now, it just looks pretty much like a natural finish. Yeah, you guys can see the coverage. show you guys my smile line area where I usually have the most trouble with foundations. And we're not gonna be putting any product on our forehead. As previously mentioned in a lot of my other videos, I really don't put foundation on my forehead anymore. So we're just leaving her alone. <laughs> we're just focusing down here. Okay guys? Yeah, here is how it is sitting around my eye area. And I really don't put foundation too much underneath my eyes either because that's the concealer's job um, and we don't want to pile up too much product. So let me get a closer view for myself. So far, it's looking pretty good. I do like how fresh and smooth my skin looks. It did a really good job at covering up what it needed to cover and it doesn't feel heavy at all. It feels pretty lightweight. It has not started to set yet. It still feels pretty sticky. So we will give it a moment and then we'll see if it sets on its own before I go in with powder. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. I think for the entire first half of this video, I had my space heater running and you can probably hear it in the background. So that was probably so annoying. I'm so sorry. But hopefully it's not too bad. I guess I'll find out when editing back this video. But I turned it off, so the rest of this video should be fine. We have let the foundation sit for a good 10 minutes now. And I will say it does still feel pretty tacky. It has not set down completely, but it also doesn't feel like it's going anywhere either. One thing I would like to point out is that even though it's been sitting for a good 10 to 15 minutes, it has not started to settle in my smile lines at all. Most foundations do settle into my smile lines usually right away. So that is already a really, really good sign. So yeah, we are going to wear this foundation for the remainder of the day and I'm going to be checking in with you guys. It is currently 10.55 in the morning. I'm going to finish off the rest of my makeup and we're going to get this day started. Okay, we are back and wow, y'all. <laughs> this looks so, so good. Let me zoom you in a little closer. Like, are we seeing how smooth this looks right now? Beautiful. I can't believe I've never tried this foundation. I'm just really loving the way this is sitting. And as you can see, it is not really settling into my smile lines. I am shocked. I mean, I've had this on for a little while now and it is just like floating on top of them instead of sinking in. And I am, I am in awe. <laughs> It's just really sitting very, very nicely on my skin. It does not feel heavy. All of the other products on top blended out super, super nicely. And by the way, I will have everything listed down below that is on my face as well. So if you guys are wondering, is down below. But yes, this is how this is how we are looking. This is our starting point. What do you guys think? I think it looks really, really good. Yeah, guys, so everything looks nice. Everything looks smooth. I am really enjoying it right now. Tell me what you guys think. I'm gonna wear this for the rest of my day and I will be checking in with you guys. It took me a really, really unnecessarily long time to finish the rest of my face because I was watching my show, but <laughs> it is now 11.33 in the morning. It's so pretty much an entire hour has passed by. I'm sorry. But anyway, let's get our day started.
It is the end of the day here. It is now 9.47 p.m. I am absolutely ready to wash my face off and go to bed. <laughs> but of course, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the situation that's going on here. I think we can all see what's going on here. The foundation still looks phenomenal. I mean, are we seeing this, you guys? It looks amazing. By the way, sorry I'm talking pretty quiet. It's pretty late and I live in an apartment so I just don't wanna be talking loud. <laughs> Let me zoom you in here. Let's see. So this is how the foundation has worn throughout the day. And as you guys can see, I mean, incredible. <laughs> Let's look at the smile lines. What? If there is any settling, it is so minimal. Not even kidding you guys, I'm blown away. I mean, it is just intact everywhere. It has not come off, it has not transferred. I'm not greasy. Some of my natural oils have peeked through kind of around my nose, but it has not caked up at all. My face still looks smooth and it does not feel heavy at all. I can honestly wear this for hours and hours and hours and hours more <laughs> and be totally fine with it. I want to get as close as possible so that you guys can really see my skin I'm feeling this I mean it just looks wow guys I can't say enough good things <laughs> I don't even know what to say because we can just all see I mean incredible I cannot believe I have not tried out this foundation up until this point and it's been out for how many years now I did find out later that it was actually reformulated so apparently now it has more vitamin E I do remember mentioning before that I wasn't entirely sure if they reformulated it or not but yes it is confirmed they did reformulate it and and it's supposedly better <laughs> than before. I unfortunately never got to try the past formula, but I can tell you now this formula, at least on my skin, has worn incredibly. So I definitely do think it is worth giving a try if you are kind of on the hunt for a new foundation or you want something that is super long lasting. I mean, you can't go wrong. It's also made with salicylic acid. So if you have acne prone skin like mine and your skin reacts really well to salicylic acid, you may love this foundation. Like personally, I'm sold. I'm sold. It's gonna stay in my collection. I will be wearing it again. I do think the shade worked out okay. I'm still not 100% loving it, but we made it work, right? I do also want to apologize about my midday check-in. I did try to do one, um, <laughs> but unfortunately it was a really dark, gloomy day. I had errands to run and I was kind of out. Um, so I tried to update you guys in my car. I took some footage, but it was just very dark and grainy and, and hard to see so hopefully you guys can kind of make it out but I promise you the foundation still looked really really good at that point this was around 5 p.m. and this foundation was put to the test since it was so dark and gloomy and rainy I was actually out in the rain <laughs> quite a few times and yeah and my face got wet and everything and it did not come off my face at all so I definitely agree with the claims of it being heat sweat and humidity proof I also made dinner about two hours ago so I was around a lot of steam it did not melt off it just stuck to my face like glue anyways i think that is all i have for you guys today i want to thank you so so much for being here and for watching of course if you enjoyed this video or enjoy videos like this in general go ahead and give this video a thumbs up it would absolutely make my day also while you're at it go ahead and click that subscribe button because that would also make me very very happy i would love to have you here all the time and of course i wouldn't want you to miss more videos like this come on now thank you all so much for being here and spending a little portion of your day with me i appreciate it more than you know let me know in the comments if you've ever tried this foundation, what are your thoughts on it? Or do you plan on trying it? I would love to know. Let me know if you've tried this formula or the old one or the older one before the old one because I heard they were formulated it twice. I don't know though. Don't quote me. But anyway, I hope you all are doing amazing and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Mm -hmm. Bye!